epic intro music. Okay, I just died twice while I was drowning because the recording cut out. sleep won't take care of we should get inside yeah okay come on Easy. how'd you get past maria i had to sneak out huh. friends problems are my problems yeah. i heard you're sick oh it's it's just a stomach thing come on let's sit you down huh You don't need to do that. Oh, shut up. So when'd you leave Jackson? Day after you. There was bad snow when I crossed into Oregon. I've been doing 18 hour stretches for the past two weeks trying to catch up. Silent treatment. Man, I mean, I forget my own birthday if she didn't remind me when it was. You should just apologize to her. I just said. Okay. What's going on? Nothing. Why? I can tell when you're off. <sighs> just got some stuff on my mind. You let me know if you want to talk about it. Okay. So we can pause if you want to read all this. Hello, Peter Wolves and Luck and Pictus here, and we are back with The Last of Us Part 2. Another part. And we, uh, the last recording ended in a bit of an odd spot, but this one is going to be pretty cinematic, I can see, because it's a nice little calm spot in the middle. Uh, where we're getting a bit of the backstory of Ellie and Tommy. When Jessie turned up as well in the last part, I really thought that was going to be Tommy grabbing her. So it's good to see I wasn't spoiled with everything, at least. But anyway, now she's having a quick look in her diary, her journal. I've just had the worst, best day of my life. Cat was finishing another session on my arm and then climbed on top of me and kissed me. I threw her off of me. I yelled at her. I thought... I thought I infected her. I mean, I'm infected, sort of. I don't know how the fuck this shit transfers. What if she turns? What would I tell people? She's got family. I told her we should take a walk. I lied and said I'd never kissed anyone, and that I was just nervous. She was actually sweet about my freak out. We spent the day walking and talking. Then she came to my place for a movie. She fell asleep. I stayed up all night watching her, looking for signs of infection. The next morning she was fine. Nothing. I'm not contagious, and Cat likes me. What a fucking roller coaster! Cat's the fucking best. That is all. So on patrol today, Jessie told me Cat referred to me as her girlfriend. She's so open about everything. She talks to her mum about us. She held my hand when we were out of the lake, kissed me in front of our friends. Everyone seems to know except for Joel. Should I tell him? I don't know. I don't know how he'd react. I feel like Dean is avoiding me. Cat says she's just jealous about how I'm spending my time. I keep trying to invite Dina along, but she keeps saying she's busy. 
Perched on an outcropping, you trace constellations in the sky. I trace the ink on your skin that covers the scars, the burns, decorating the darkness like stars. It smells like wet leaves and firewood out here. Yeah, that's the um, that's a that's a drawing. Now you turn this off as well to see her sketches. That's a nice little story. I wouldn't have. I almost didn't read that. Um, so that's good to know. It's nice to get the little um, interludes with the background. But also, I was thinking in general. I am enjoying the pacing of this game more than the first one because there is more sort of downtime in between, you know, like the bit with the dinosaur and the museum with Joel and this part with Ellie and, you know, various other bits. Um, and there is a tough bit of combat, but it felt like in the first one it was like almost constant combat. So, so far, I'm still preferring this one in every way because we've still got that interaction between Ellie and Joel. I thought... After the start, I thought we weren't going to get it, but the flashback was nice. Now we get a build on her relationship with Tommy That's too. Stragglers. How many? Just a handful. Oh, that, that is a shot. Look at that. Can't even see a third one. Oh, isn't. You want to give it a whirl? Mm, yeah. Are you sure? Well, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> I guess this is the first time we get to try out the scope. See that sign there? Red one? Try hitting that. Good way to draw them out of wherever they're hiding. You got aim higher. Leave the bullet room to drop. And that's what the arrows are for. You go. Sounds attractive. Well, we are on patrol. Let's clear them out. Make sure to compensate for the bullet drop. I'm trying, but the bastards are moving. Just take your time. There you go. See a few more. Nice. I like this thing. Okay, so I'm, you don't want to go ahead of them. Ah, I get it. You don't want to go ahead of them. You want to go above them, but you don't want to go ahead of them. I was shooting in front of them. Where are they coming from? Hordes like to move through this area in winter. They always end up leaving behind a few stragglers. They do the same routes every year? Like a migration or something. Hmm. What's that about? Well, when the barometric pressure reaches a certain temperature st Shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the shed. It looks like they're moving downhill. Why? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Look up by the truck there. They're munching on that deer there. You're natural. Three. So the truck is there, okay. What you think? Beautiful. I'm impressed. Looks clear. Bet there's some this way. Sweet. Damn, uh, I'm not too bad now. Something by the ski lifts? Happy with those shots. Under those gondolas. By that tower. You see? Up there? So so far we want to use the bottom one, I guess. You'll find it. You really good. Nice. Now we do want to shoot a little bit in front, yeah. There he is. Gonna have to tell Joel about this. <laughs> I'm not seeing any more. Yeah, me neither. All right, let's head in. See if Joel's back. Sure. Any 
Send her over. Hey, thanks for that. It's just what I needed. Sure. Ladies first. I'm not supposed to say anything, but Joel's worried about you. There's... there's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure there isn't. But if you don't talk to him, he's gonna think something's wrong. I talk to him? Well, you have to do more than hi and bye. <sighs> okay, I will try. At ease. <laughs> this place is cool. Look at it. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, I thought it was going to be a ride. I thought it was going to be a let's ride. See, I'm not talking so much because I keep thinking there's going to be a cutscene like this. That was y'all shooting out there, right? Oh, just some stragglers. Ella got to try out my scope. How'd you like it? Yeah, feels good. I see you've, uh, you haven't gotten around to changing the string yet. I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, we'll get you some new ones. <clears throat> well, there's that music store down there. I bet they got guitar stuff. I mean, that area's long overdue for a sweep anyway. I can keep watch. Where you take it, kiddo? Sure. And that's our cue. <laughs> and a bit more Ellie and Joel. So, what more can you want? Are you sure you don't want to come? Get on now. He's waiting. I wonder if there's anything to pick up in here though, because it's a big room, rather than just walking straight back out the front door. Why do you guys always volunteer for this patrol? It's got the most comfortable couch in all the lookouts. Set by the fire, put my feet up, mm, magic. But yeah, big big room just to walk out of straight away for sure. I'd rather go pick up a few supplies first. This lookout suddenly fascinates me. I'm just making sure I have everything. Uh -huh. You see, there's even a bullet in here. Beautiful. <laughs> probably don't need much equipment, but that's probably about. Yeah, yeah I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just picking up all the stuff because we might need it. Hey, what's the savage starlight doing here? Pretty sure that's Joel's. <laughs> Dan Accretion. Daniela and Captain Ryan have been thrown into the arena, where the hungry eyes of the travellers watch as they are forced to fight to the death. Will she put aside her feelings for the captain to fight for her own survival? Anything else to say? Didn't think so, mate. <laughs> right, let's go. Now we ride. Okay. Let's go. Alright. Follow me, kiddo. Mm, I guess there's probably nothing to pick up over here, but I'd rather check. Yeah, I mean, I could have missed something, but I think that's good enough for now. Right, let's go. I might cut some of the stuff while I'm just wandering around. 
and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Uh, you know, found two runners in a house. Jesse tells me you're handling your own quite well on the group patrol. He's even recommending you for paired patrols. Oh, I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than most of the new recruits Look, who've... Look, you think you're ready. I trust you. Okay. Thanks. You just do me a favor and start with the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. Hey, you remember those, uh, Savage Starlight comic books that you're into? Yeah. Tommy and I found some when we were moving through that school the other day. Did you like them? Oh, you know what? It's not really my cup of tea, but... Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty... She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match... <laughs> yeah. I mean, he definitely deserved it, but... That was a nice twist how they escaped. <laughs> You're funny. Music stores up that way. We're gonna have to leave the horses here. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Hey, Shimmer. Don't get into trouble. <laughs> There's that music store. Yeah, I see it. I don't like talking as much on these bits because I feel that there there's a lot of chatting, you know? There's still... I've never found anything to pick up in the cars. I don't know what the point of... Um, I don't know what the point of smashing the windows is, really, other than just to attract zombies or whatever. You need a boost? I got it. Um, no, we'll have a look in here, then. I purposely went back again because I thought that was the correct way to go. Uh, you'll probably have guessed my usual playstyle by now. It's search everything. That corner suddenly looked appealing to me. Let's go! Oh yeah, and now's a great time. Uh, I don't think right. we can go this way. What? Oh, damn. Used to be able to swim across there. Okay, so now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting through that hotel. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm always up for that. That 14 year old's Maxine. Maxence, what a weird name. At 14 years old, Maxence Pierre was abandoned by his parents in the middle of the Mon. Tanya Noir, I don't even know how to say that. With the help of a benevolent, intelligent hawk, he made his way to a small lodge where he met a mysterious shaman. Through rigorous training, Max mastered his ability to enter the mind of hawks, raptors and other birds of prey. The Ostringer, Max serves as a thief for hire and intelligence gatherer for the highest bidder, all while striving to discover why he was abandoned in the mountains all those years ago. Interesting. So at least we found the card. Um, doesn't look like there's anything else to do. I was just saying how we didn't find anything in the cars, but that wasn't from smashing the window, so it still doesn't count. Come on then, let's climb up here. I found a rare hero card right in that ditch. He's still collecting those things. Don't be jealous. I'll do my damnedest. I am. That me. But yeah, like I was saying, now's a perfect time to, to remind you to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop fade back. And think you can fit in there? Well, it's worth a shot. Don't forget to tap that notification bell. Careful now. So you're notified whenever a video drops. Come through. Hold on. Hell right. yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna start with the pistol. Um, just because. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to run into some sort of trouble. We're full already on that. Oddly. Uh, looking. 
Yep, still looking Joel. But yeah, I mean, there's plenty of interaction in the game between Ellie and Joel, because I was thinking there wouldn't be for some reason. Um, can we just search the rest first? Okay, I'm sure we could open the shower doors rather than smashing them all, but it doesn't let you. It doesn't let you. So, might have to... See, another bullet. That's nice. So, right, we can go let him in now. Well, hello. Howdy. You impressed? No. Nope. You're just too skinny. You need to eat more. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I've already checked in there, mate. I'm waiting for you to show me the way. Yeah, we're going to push this out of the way. Do I need to help you? Or have you got it? Ellie, here. I think I see a way through, but we got spores. Put your mask on. Ugh, do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. Spores are my favorite. You gotta be smart at this. If you start wearing that mask, you know, and eventually you're gonna slip up in front of someone you shouldn't. I've never slipped. You ain't told nobody, do, have you? Not Jesse, or Dina. Or... Of course not. Okay, good. But yeah, there was that uh, tweet going around that everyone was laughing about because they were going on about uh, how people were making fun of it was being unrealistic because they um, they see spores and then put the mask on. Um, Been in here before? Uh, we just patrolled the streets. Feeling like a bit of an understatement. Which is a little bit it is a little bit ridiculous. Obviously, I see what everyone's getting at because obviously they do spot the spores before they go in so they put the mask on but you think if it was real life you would put the mask on before going in any building that you hadn't cleared um, because I do feel sometimes that they did have a, they were just trying to hate so obviously I'm against that but they I do think they had a slight point um, because they do seem to like fall in or something and then go oh spores and then put the mask on uh, you think they might already have breathed it in quite a little bit, quite a bit, you know. Um, especially in the first game, they did seem to fall in quite a lot. <laughs> um, fall into places quite a lot and then go, oh, masks. But, I mean, I suppose if you kind of go back and look at each, individ each uh, situation individually, you'll see that they do kind of spot it before they go in. And if you are running, they'll probably... Um, have got the mask on just in time or something but obviously I'm not saying that it's unrealistic because of that or hating on it in any way I'm just kind of pointing out that just, you know that I kind of get where he was coming from even if I don't agree okay so there's no no, so far no point in actually smashing all of that and also it's different inventories to Okay, so we can build... Um, yeah, there's no point doing that just yet, because we've already got a med pack. Okay, so that's where we just went. Where Joel? Where Joel? Where Joel gone? 
we already looked in here. Okay, we lost Joel. Joel, we lost you. Ah. You could have shouted already. I got him. And Joel's actually being helpful in this one. <laughs> Shake it back, get back, get back. Nice one. Okay, that threw me off a little bit. The clicker sounds like it's right behind me. I only fired one bullet, mate. I'm well good. Joel's got it covered. I've only fired two bullets. A shot on him. Oh, I made a profit on bullets from that. Not bad. Okay, well not just yet. I will have a look around the rest of the room. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Back off. Get behind my table, use a med kit. Okay, not really wise. Oh, come on. Joel saved me again. Well, they're going down pretty quickly to this pistol, even. God, my aim is quite off at the moment. Oh, ho, 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 slit his throat. Over here, Ellie. Ellie, I got one. Got it. My God, he's good, isn't he? Yes. Joel, I think we did it. Didn't make a profit on ammo that time, but we didn't do too badly. So, what do you say we give up on those strings for today? Could have said it better myself. I think our only way out is forward now. Yeah, we don't need those strings today. Well, I was going to have that though. I mean, mm. um, are we going to need one Molotov? Because we're about to get the next. Yeah, let's get one Molotov. Because we're about to get to the next bit anyway. And then we can build a med pack for the next one. Just to be safe. Just to be safe.
Okay, I have to wait for him to open it. That looks like it might be something. Following you. Go on then. Oh, you have to get in with him. Son, where's he gone? Is he at the back? No, I totally lost him there. Oh, no, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. Out. Okay, so now we want the Molotov. Oh god, I didn't know there was another one. We've missed with the Molotov. Brilliant. So now we don't have a med pack. We're good. We're good. As in, we did it terribly. Good. <laughs> oh, hello. Shit, I was trying to pick up the ammo there. Oh, God. Oh, no, that messed that up. Come on. Come on, Joel. Sort your life out. Oh, we're stuck again. Oh, come on. Oh, it was meant to happen. That is grim. Look at that. Yeah, me too, to be honest. Disgusting. They'll probably have their talk as well when we go to the next area. That was some top Molotov skills, I tell you now. <laughs> Just threw it straight past him in panic as we saw another one. Then we kept getting stuck on things and Joel finished him off. She's already got the mask off. <laughs> like... Back there, huh? Obviously, she's immune. I'm... I know the bit I was saying earlier wasn't referring to Ellie. But... He doesn't get it. Don't hold your breath. Okay, so we can't get through there. 
<laughs> I've got a pretty keen eye for these things. Because loads of them, not much alcohol, loads of rags. Oh, some ammo finally. Wonder if there's another card to find in this place. Or if it's just the one for this little extra bit. Nothing in any of them. Just wondering what I'm doing. Fancy taking a bit of a shower. <laughs> After having to fight those bloaters, I think you'd want a shower straight away. Oh, for crying out loud. Did it by accident. I think you're right. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're going to end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Love Adam and Sydney. I shot her. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. Adam. Jeez. Only they were immune, right? Go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. Yeah. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital, you said there were dozens of people like me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I could be hiding it. You do. Do you believe that? Is now really the time for this? We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just uh, would have given them more time, they could have figured uh, something out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. 
I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell him? Wasn't the right time. about this? Anything worthwhile? Um, actually, yeah. Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora, her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Like, at least just wait for Jessie to rest up. She could be gone by then. Ellie. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? Follow Route 5. That should take me to the hospital. First thing I want to say is I think a lot of the tension would have been solved with Joel if he would just said that they ran their tests and then it deemed that they to get on to the next stage that they had to kill her. But um, then he could have made up some bullshit about there being no cure. Um, or the, it didn't look very likely. Or they said it was incredibly unlikely that it would have done something but uh, you don't know if she'd have been like well just kill me anyway or whatever you know five. so i guess we'll find Get out done, nora. Get her to tell me where Abby is. and nora has got to be some sort of horizon zero dawn reference of all the tight knit exclusive exclusive civ 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 community <laughs> <Route> <laughs> That's exactly why I'm not going that way, because I want to check for everything. Pick it all up. Um, although there's probably nothing to pick up around. I'll probably regret that, because there'll probably be like one card or something in the middle of nowhere. Um, But you never know, you never know. So basically I'm going to cut a little bit while I'm doing the excruciating searching in every corner. Um, but yeah, just going to get on with it other than that. Yeah, there's literally nothing except for, we've obviously got to go that way now, so I want to check this way. <laughs> um... Yeah, there's literally nothing to pick up whatsoever. 
I don't know that for sure, obviously, but I'm hoping. Because I haven't really done like a 100% sweep, but I think my sweeps are thorough enough to get most of the stuff. I'm not saying I'm going to get the platinum on the first go. I mean, I don't think I will, but I bet you I won't be far off. Oh, I've got most of the collectibles, and I wonder if then on the second playthrough you have to go find all of them, or in one playthrough, or you just have to go and find the the ones you've missed. Because it would be a lot better if it's just find the ones you've missed, because that probably wouldn't take too long at all, considering I found most. Okay, so I feel like the other way is the correct way, so we're going to have a quick look in here. Yeah, boy, pick up the parts. Plenty of parts, and nice. Can we get up there? Mm, doesn't look like it. Nope. Um, I don't think we've crafted any smoke bombs yet. I don't really like them. I'd rather get the trap mines, but I think I'm going to do craft one of these just so that we've crafted one of everything, you know? Um, yeah. And we'll give them, we'll give them a go, those bombs. But um, I think usually the trap mines are the better for me. So let's see what we got in here. Right, I'll just sweep this room again quickly. Well, not again. Not on about again. I just meant I'll sweep again quickly, not this room again. Oh, yep, another card. Randy Styles. Hundred brains, eighty brawn. Not bad. Once he was Doctor Uckman's research partner, working for like. Working late nights to develop all manner of technology for the betterment of mankind. Until one day he just vanished. Months later, reports surface of style was showing up in numerous places all over the world. A brief appearance in Mexico, a short stint in Japan, and materialization in the Australian outback. With each visitation he helps people in need and vanishes again. Some speculate Styles obtained this ability through an accident with Dr. Uckman's experimental quantum teleporter though he vehemently denies those claims. So this, um, pretty sure that uh, the hour is going to go any second. Why so many bottles? Why so many bottles? Do we come back here? Can't open those drawers either. But it looks like that's the only other thing to pick up in here. Yeah, 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 okay, let's move. Ooh, more parts, good. We haven't got a workbench uh, today in the last couple of episodes. Okay, so nothing else in here, so that wasn't the correct way. Um, okay, progress. Progress, true. Okay, so I've learned it's not really helpful to go and search all the corners. Now I guess we'll search this one. Oh, or not. Okay, that didn't work. What we're going to do is we're going to bottle him and then melee. Is that another clicker? It is. So that's why there's so many bottles. We're going to go back for one of the bottles. Where be the bottle? There. And we're going to do the same thing again. OK, 
Can they get in? They can. They spot me pretty efficiently, though. It's for a clicker. Oh, uh, that didn't work. So I guess we just run past them? Bye! Wouldn't want to be yet. Just the clicker that we gotta watch. Okay, out, out we go, out we go, out we go, out we go. Right. Back we go. <laughs> uh, we need another bottle then. And that is why we're using all the bottles. Okay. So. Okay, actually, I didn't want to use the bottle there, but. Now, since it's only a clicker, I'm hoping we can get back over there and you'll lose us. Um, if not, I'll try to find another. Get over the other side, then start searching the area again. Yeah, hopefully we've lost him now. We'll just be careful. I'll just do a quick sweep of this area. Got a bottle so we can at least have another pop at melee. There is something to pick up in that corner, look. Yeah, I don't think we'll need to tank. Hope, fingers crossed we won't need to actually tangle with him again. So, yeah, looks like we got past him. Another bottle up there. More of that. Alcohol. Oh, more. Oh, yeah, we're in a bar. Plenty. Good spot, good spot. Okay, what have we got in here? Almost nothing. Ah, supplements. Perfect. 39 supplements so we can get an upgrade. All sorts of stuff in here, actually. I thought there was going to be nothing on the other side. So we'll see if we can get any of the upgrades then. We know we can get one, at least. Uh, should I have checked the journal quickly because there is something new? Um, yeah, it felt good having him around to deal with WLF. Maybe he can help us find these people more quickly. Uh, I don't want to hear anything about turning back. Nice drawing of him. And then, yeah, supplements anyway. What have we got here? Hold on. So we got this whole, we've got these two whole branches done. So then the next one is either the listen mode, clarity, faster pro movement, not bothered. Silences would be good because two shots on a silence is pretty useless and faster stealth, faster stealth kills is good. Or better gun stuff, basically, craft more arrows. It's useful, but it's nothing special really, I might... I'm feeling the stealth a bit more at the moment, to be honest. So we're going to wait till we get one more supplement. Okay. Right. 
Right, so we have to go through here because we don't want to smash a window. So search, I oh, do want to search this side first, but we don't need to tangle with a clicker, so we're just going to have a look in here. What does that say? So a quick look around here, scope in another area out. K K K K K. Feel her love. It's another cultist, probably. So before climbing the ladder, I'm going to do a full sweep. I mean, we've already kind of done it. Okay, so now we're going to have a look up the ladder. Oh, here's another noosey looking thing there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Ah, something to do with a rope, okay. Don't know what to do with a rope yet, so I'm going to drop it. Maybe it's literally just to climb down, I don't know. What's that? Oh, it's just a rope. Damn it. Oh, is it? Hmm, unless we just abseil down a little bit. Um, oh, hello. That's not. Ah. No, that's not working. I thought we could walk right, but. Never mind. <laughs> it's not Nathan Drake. Oh, we can't go up now. Oh, we got to go down, then chuck it. I see. Then chuck it up the next one, I guess. No, that wasn't it. No idea. <laughs> Gonna have to have another look at that. Hmm. I'm tempted to try and kill this clicker first then. No, I don't know what to do there then. Shit. Spooking me of his noises. I'm going to have another look at the top. Okay, so somewhere to swing, maybe? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.